what is AIS? What does it do? And why do you need it? Hey there folks, I'm Lenny Rudo here for Boat US, and today we're going to talk about AIS, also known as the Automatic Identification System. The AIS system consists of GPS, an AIS transponder, and VHF. The GPS is used for uh, location, speed, direction of travel information. Uh, the AIS transponder is what actually collates this information, sends it to items like your MFD, and VHF is used for the actual communications from boat to boat. AIS systems are divided into two categories, Class A and Class B. Class A is your big, powerful system used on commercial ships. Class B is more of a recreational level. And of course, recreational boaters can also get a simple receiver system so they can see the commercial traffic out there without actually broadcasting their own location, direction of travel, and additional information. One of the nice things is that quite often these days you can find a VHF radio with AIS built in. Some are more substantial systems than others. Often they have very small screens yeah. <laughs> and some systems can also interface with your chart plotter but it's a really nice option if you're not looking to spend a ton of money but you want to get the basics of AIS you can find VHF radios where it pops up right there here's an example this is our boat right here in the marina now if we go out here into the middle of the Chesapeake Bay you can see the commercial traffic we touch on it, we get all kinds of information about that traffic. Now this Hylus 47, this is a pretty serious boat with a pretty heavy duty electronic system. So naturally it's got AIS. Not everybody does on their boat, but there's another way you can take advantage of the system. Where'd I put it? That is with your cell phone. There are plenty of apps where you can pull up AIS and at least enjoy the receiver part of the equation. You can see those other boats out there on your app. Of course, that only works where you have cell service. And as we all know, cell phones are not 100% reliable on boats. So let's go back to the original question. Do you need AIS? Well, if you're a long distance cruiser, you spend a lot of time on the water, you go out maybe when it's foggy or the weather isn't perfect, it does deliver an awful lot of information that you'll find very helpful. But there are no requirements that a recreational boater of any type have AIS. So bottom line, it's a judgment call. Hopefully now you have the information you need to make that judgment. Boaters, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, you can always go to BoatUS.com, plug AIS into the search box. You will find a lot more information there. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss any future BoatUS videos.